Hey folks, so it's been a while, quite frankly, since I've done a video, and excuse me, I probably could have spent a couple of minutes cleaning, but nonetheless, um, I've got this PS Vita that I was working on, well, actually the very last video I did, I was working on this PS Vita, and uh, I got some new parts in the mail today, I got my new sticks. Uh, originally I wanted to try putting the actual stick, like the joystick, into this just like just swapping parts around because this one's all chewed up so that physically needs a replacement but it still works otherwise this one doesn't work at all but it looks decent so i don't know um but anyway on the last video there was a little bit of a question as to whether or not the replacement oled screens were actual oleds so this is the replacement screen on here uh ignore the masking tape that's just my notes on what's broken and then this is a 2000 a slim model that does not have an OLED. And I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look and we'll decide together. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the slim here. And you should see the background illuminate. God, I hope it's charged. Yeah. So you can see, um, you can see the, the, the black, the backlight on this thing. Now, if we take the... Uh, one that I replaced the screen on. You can see the PS logo, but nothing else is lit up. Can't see the backlight on this at all. That's because uh, OLED screens, uh, each pixel basically is 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 its own light source, whereas on a um, traditional LCD. Uh, there's a backlight that illuminates all of the pixels. Okay. So, frankly, I thought it looked like an OLED. I think it's safe to say it's an OLED. I did check my other PS Vita that I did the replacement screen on. Checked it the same way. Also has an OLED, as far as I can tell. <sighs> but it's always good to know. I mean, once you get to a certain point, um, you know, all good screens, in my opinion, look pretty much identical, you know, as long as they're all high quality. I mean, obviously a cheap TN is real easy to tell apart from a cheap IPS or something. And I haven't really played with this thing long enough. I'm, I don't know. I'm not very familiar with OLED screens. This thing that I'm filming on has an OLED screen, and it does look absolutely fantastic. But I mean, it just it it looks good. There's nothing in particular about it that I look at it and go, oh, that's a that's an OLED. Of course, one downside with OLEDs is even though they have their own light source, they do, they can still burn in. So if you have it on the same image too frequently, like this thing, whoops, probably has a little Windows logo burned in because it's a Windows phone, and probably has a little record button burned in right there. But that's oh shit. I'm not having a good day today. Yeah, sorry about the slow upload. Ooh, that's probably why that's not happening. There we go. Or the infrequent uploads, rather. Um, I've just been... It's It's been crazy. You know how it is. I really do want to make videos for you guys. But I just had other stuff that I need to deal with. Right. This is the easiest way to do this. Because I'm just going to replace both. Oh, and there's the 
AC. Because it's summer now. Or at least it's not winter anymore. So there is one of the working, but grossly disfigured, sticks. I'm sure there's a way to take this apart, but I'm going to wait till I get to the other one first. Um, oh. So unfortunately, this is not the same part as the um, slim Vita. These things are quite a bit more expensive. I mean, all things considered, it's really not that bad. It's just, you know, the slim part is like three, four dollars, and this one is like ten, fifteen. I think I paid 22 for both of them or something like that. Brilliant. I don't remember if I mentioned this in the video or in the description or whatever, but during the last video, I think I mentioned at some point that, um, you know, I was kind of panicking because you know, I have some family who are not going through this as well as possible, uh, this pandemic. My sister has been sick. She's fine, by the way. I mean, she's still sick, but she's doing a lot better. My brother-in-law, on the other hand, is absolutely panicking because his gym has been closed and it's not going to reopen anytime soon. But, you know, what you, what you going to do about that? I've been frustrated because my work, I am considered an essential employee and I don't mean quote unquote essential like GameStop, but you know, I, I work in infrastructure. So if you want to stay at home dicking around on the internet, there's still got to be people who go to work. And um, even though that's not quite my job, but you, you, you get the idea. I've just been stressed because my job has gotten significantly busier. We've gone, our daily volume has increased five times what it usually, what it, what was typical beforehand. Okay, that's one of them. Now we need to do the other one. And, ah, uh, that's so annoying that you have to remove this whole stupid thing.
that's okay. Not that one. It's probably that one. All right. But I don't know. This this is just the new normal. Get used to it, I guess. It's not going away anytime soon. I'm just slower to adapt than others, I guess. So this one doesn't work, and I have absolutely no idea why. It could have something to do with that um, giant mark on one of these pins here. But, uh, screw it, let's take it apart. Before just replacing it. I'm just going to try and unlatch all these pins this metal shielding. Oop. Throw it around. This is not the easiest thing to do. Okay. Oh, and I accidentally redid some of them. Not just the one. Jeez. So I have no idea what I'm in for. Well, that's not as bad as I expected. I will say it's almost definitely worth just replacing the whole frickin' stick instead of trying to do this nonsense. So I still have no idea how this comes out. I have a feeling this needs to come out, but it's not coming easily. Like these springs. Well, that's neat. So there's there's the brains of the whole thing. It looks like there's just two, I guess either rotary encoders or like Hall effect sensors or something. One for X, one for Y, or vice versa, I don't know. And 
just translates the data into ones and zeros. Oh, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay. There we go. So this needs to come off. That makes more sense. But I don't know how to get that off without ripping it. Let's see if this comes off. Probably not, but this thing was broken to start with, so if I make it worse, I'm not going to feel too bad. Okay, it looks like it does come off. Now, I can remove the guts. Can I just pull out the whole stick? No, I can't. Is this... I need to unclip this white... Yeah, I'm not going to mess with this any further. I'm going to be here all night. I mean, I'll keep playing with it later, but... It's going to take me a while to get that figured out, and I don't feel like playing with it. Then my hands are going to get all, I'm going to get that lubricant all over myself. It's not going to have a good time. I'm already not having a good time. camera cuts out, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this thing buttoned up and then we'll try it out together. I think I need a new L membrane or something. It works, it's just, I don't like how it feels, it's kind of mushy. Though maybe just putting it back together now, it'll be fine, who knows. Oh, I'm forgetting something, huh? Ah, oh, screw it, we don't need that. Not like the 3G works anyway. I have a feeling. Camera's gonna cut out before we can actually test this. Ugh. That's the date. Did I 
put the wrong stick in. No, I didn't. Oh, you can see that sticker though. Oh, that's frustrating. I have to take this apart again. Stupid fucking warranty sticker. Quote unquote warranty. Shoulder button does feel a lot better though. Still not 100%, but significantly better. So yeah, I guess it just needs to be repositioned or something. It's backwards, but I think that's the problem with the game. Works though. Nice. And someone showed me this while, or mentioned this in the comments, they didn't really show me anything. But if you go into the welcome park. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. You can uh, use the touchpad to spin the planet. You can see the touchpad works just fine. Kind of neat. You can play with those. I'm sure there's more functions that you can test out. If you hit the shoulder buttons, it refreshes those, so you know those are working. But yeah. I think this thing has been fully repaired. Now I just need to take it apart once again to uh, clean up that sticker and because I'm going to reinstall the 3G card eventually, might as well do it now. Um, but I don't feel like doing that on camera. I don't feel like waiting for it to cool down. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. So go figure. It only required basically one more step to get this thing liberated. Um, but while I was playing with this, I it, the, the thought occurred to me that I'm there might very well not be any other videos out there um, as far as how to do this. So might as well take a couple minutes to film this. I'm going to go ahead and start over, but you got to pull the metal shielding off of both joysticks. I've already got one stripped down, but you got to do the same thing to both anyhow. And it's easy enough to do with some tweezers, except for this one tab. There we go. Come on. And this tab, apparently. All right, so shielding comes off, set that aside, pull out these little springs before you lose them. These springs are important. Without these springs, the uh, joystick won't return to top dead center. It'll just kind of flop around. All right, now we need to pop that off. That just lifts off pretty easily. This one's slightly more difficult. I'm actually going to use a razor blade to get under there because it's thinner than my tweezers. But I just want to lift this off the two plastic pegs. Hopefully this doesn't damage anything. Now with this thing flopped around, you can undo the other one, but I'm just going to leave it hanging in the breeze because don't need to be in here long. Next, another layer of plastic comes off. 
set that aside and we can lift off this copper brass part I don't know and then here's where I left you on the other one before getting bored and frustrated but we need to pull this white piece off I'm just sticking my tweezers under the left side and prying up if I break this I won't be too heartbroken because I have another one but there's probably a better way to do that I didn't break it but I have no fucking idea where that went uh, and then from there just rotate the uh, joystick 90 degrees and it drops right out and so this is what I wanted to replace because this thing's literally missing chunks um, assembly is just reverse of removal I'm going to take a couple seconds and pick out some of this disgusting disgusting whoops I want to be careful because there is lubricant in there. That's gross. Okay. Uh, I think this went this way. Drop this one back in. By this one, I mean the other stick. And then I'll use this white piece from the other stick as well. And by the way, uh, yeah, my first guess was right. These are magnets. So they're just Hall Effect sensors. I don't know in case anyone else is fascinated by that. Uh, it looks like it does matter which direction this goes in, and I wasn't paying attention. I don't know which direction is which. So, just gonna wing it, I guess. Well, that doesn't feel too bad. It's probably fine. Stick this back on the plastic pegs there. I know it's kind of hard to see and I apologize. I can barely see it myself. Well, that works better. Okay. The four springs. We should be good to go to drop this thing back on. it's backwards did I do that backwards not pop no it's not possible to put it on backwards I don't know why it feels funny well the joystick itself feels fine so 
I don't know, maybe it is fine. Screw it, I'm sure it's fine. I'm gonna swap it out with the one that I have to remove the sticker on. And we'll try it out. This is just as soon as I'm done dropping my frickin' screwdriver. I'm not gonna reassemble this on video because I just I, it's gonna take so long. I'll just update the description or something. I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember that awkward time in video game history when the proper camera direction orientation was considered the flipped and not the deep. Oh shit! That works with the touch screen. That's cool. Anyway, sorry, did not know that. Check it out. Looks great. Both directions. Go up, down. Ta-da. And just for proof, it's not the one with the sticker, because there's the one with the sticker. And, uh, well, this one works too. So yeah. I don't know how to get out of this now. That's interesting. Okay, well, there we go. Now, I'm actually done for real this time, so um, thanks for watching, guys, and have an excellent night.